Now, Clifford Darling, the fourth Bahamian governor general in an independent Bahamas, was laid to rest today, hailed as a nationalist who changed the country with his commitment to transformative causes. In a string of tributes to Sir Cliff, as he was affectionately called, colleagues gave personal accounts which reflected a statesman determined to form a Bahamas which would afford Bahamians all the privileges that their nation had to offer. Tonight, we have team coverage on the state funeral, beginning with our Jenea Noel Ferguson. The life of Sir Clifford Darling, former Governor General of the Bahamas, was celebrated during a state funeral at the Zion Baptist Church. Government and opposition officials, as well as Bahamians from all walks of life, joined his family to remember the freedom fighter and nation builder of the modern Bahamas, paying tribute His Excellency Sir Arthur Folks. Clifford Darling, by his life, by his service, by his courage, by his personal dignity and integrity, proved once again that good and even great things can come out of the Bahamian Nazareth. Sir Arthur added that despite his many achievements, Sir Clifford always remained humble. Clifford Darling was more of a fixed star rather than a shooting star, an inspiring presence, the perfect mix of necessary patience and steely determination. Perhaps at an unspoken level, he communicated to his followers the possibility of gaining a place at the table without wrecking the house. A special tribute from Prime Minister Hubert Ingram to Sir Clifford was included in the program. Ingram noted that he met Sir Clifford more than 40 years ago, and the man who wore many hats was most proud of his leadership role in the labor movement at the time of the 1958 general strike. He said we owe a great debt of gratitude to him for half a century of public service. Meantime, Sir Clifford was also a member of the Progressive Liberal Party and served as its MP for Anglerston. Party leader Perry Christie said, persons should enter and leave this world as Sir Clifford did. Sir Clifford Darling had a good name. He earned it and he kept it throughout his long and eventful life. And he died with that good name fully intact. It is unfortunate that Sir Clifford's modesty was such that his heroic role in the general strike has never been as well known as that of others who held center stage at that time. But that never bothered Sir Cliff. He didn't need to have the spotlight set it on him. As you heard, Sir Clifford Darling played a pivotal role in the social and political advancement of our country. His profound legacy will live on for generations to come. Chenea Noel Ferguson, ZNS News.